Hello, I'm David Hester, and this is the Bible Health 101 show. I have been going over the most nutritious foods, and I am going to pick up uh, today where I left off yesterday. Uh, yesterday we spoke about green tea. Today we are going to speak about nuts, almonds, Brazil nuts, flax seeds, walnuts, etc. Right? Uh, these are... Uh, Good sources of uh, minerals, including uh, like calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium. Uh, you know, uh, almonds, for instance, have all of those things. That they're also high in fiber. Um, Brazil nuts are are, are high in selenium, uh, which is an important trace mineral. And uh, you know, uh, flax seeds are, are are great sources of, of fiber. Um, which of course uh, insoluble fiber is uh, is is really lacking uh, in, in the uh, the standard American uh, diet. So um, it's just just excellent um, the use of flax seeds. Wal walnuts, uh, you know, are, are high in the the, the heart healthy omega three fatty acids, right? Uh, just, just kind of as as a note though on flax seeds, uh, it um, high amounts of flax seeds. Let's put it that way. Uh, and flaxseed oil uh, can can reduce blood clotting and promote bleeding. Uh, and so it could interact uh, with you know drugs that have uh, similar effects. You know, like uh, like say aspirin. So. Uh, consider that when uh, when you know if you're on any kind of uh, you know blood thinners or or whatever. Okay, olives. Um, they have um, heart healthy um, oleic acid. Um, you know the Mediterranean uh, diet uh, that has a large amount of uh, olives and olive oil. Um, According to studies, it shows that these people uh, with such a diet have a uh, have a reduced risk of heart disease, uh, uh, the several types of cancer, um, you know, like breast, stomach, uh, skin. Um, you know, I mean, olives are, are, are great for you. A little, little salty. Uh, it, it's it's the monounsaturated and um, and the polyunsaturated fats that that aren't really the best choice for cooking. So, um, you know, it's it's better to uh, to use real butter, okay, or or coconut oil, okay, than using olive oil for cooking uh, is is not the uh, the best option. Now, soy products that that would be tofu, soybeans, soy nuts, miso, soy burgers, soy nut butter. Um, Soy, uh, you know, appear to have anti-cancer effects. Okay. Um, however, uh, most of the more recent studies, um, you know, um, say that um, that soy increases the estrogen levels and uh, the incidence of breast cancer. Uh, so. If you're going to consume soy, really just consume it in moderation. Um, if you have a family history of breast cancer, um, you know, I, I wouldn't use soy. I, I am not a, a, a soy advocate, by the way. Uh, so definitely uh, consult with your doctor uh, b before um, eating soy products uh, if you have a history of, uh, say, breast cancer uh, in your family, okay? Uh, vegetables. Um, Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, you know, bok choy, kale, um, you know, all known to lower cancer risk, okay? Um, they, they have the ability to stop the growth of cancer cells, okay? Um, the vegetables, I don't even know where to start with the amount of uh, good information about uh, vegetables. Think about, you know, your dark green leafy vegetables, uh, you know, spinach, romaine lettuce, leaf lettuce, mustard greens, collard greens, uh, Swiss chard, uh, 
All are excellent sources of, of fiber. Uh, they have a wide range of carotenoids. Um, it, it's, it seems that these, uh, these carotenoids can help prevent cancer because they act as antioxidants. Uh, so, um, you know, they, uh, they kind of attack the free radicals um, in our body. Um, you know, get them removed uh, before they can do uh, any harm to us. Th these, uh, you know, I, I I couldn't say enough about the uh, the health benefits of uh, green leafy vegetables. I'm gonna jump on to whole grains, okay? Uh, the term um, whole grains uh, really that all that means is that the three parts. Okay, the grain kernel, which is the germ, the bran, and the endosperm are included, okay? Refined grains, for instance, uh, have the bran and the germ removed, so it, it only leaves the, uh, the starchy endosperm. So, uh, whole grains would be like 100% whole wheat bread, oatmeal, uh, popcorn, brown rice, um, you know, um, certain cereals like bran flakes or, um, you know, shredded wheat or whatever. They can also be, uh, you know, good, good sources of whole grains. But, you know, you have to read the labels because you, you, you don't want to have so much sugar. Really, uh, you don't want to have any sugar, uh, any kind of white refined sugar product. You just need to not have, uh, period. So, uh Whole grains are great for you though because they're they're rich in uh, fiber, vitamins, minerals. Uh, they have hundreds of phytochemicals, uh, and uh, so they've they've got all kinds of substances that have uh, been linked uh, to to lowering cancer risk. Uh, uh, it has uh, both soluble and insoluble fiber. They have antioxidants. They have uh, phytoestrogens. Uh, I mean, it, it's all there. Uh, so, uh, you know, people that, that, uh, have more, uh, whole grains, um, than others, um, are, you know, are, are going to do, do pretty well, uh, when you look at, uh, the studies on, on whole grains and, and cancer risks. So I, I'm just, I'm going to say that a diet that includes these types of foods predominantly, will be a healthier diet so um, the healthiest foods are the ones that are the least processed okay if, if I were you I would totally avoid uh, processed foods okay and uh, you're just gonna be uh, healthier uh, you're gonna find it easier to to maintain your ideal weight uh, when you eat the foods that, that I've mentioned, um, you know, in this last uh, few videos. Uh, two, two last points, okay, two last points. I believe that good uh, nutritional supplements are, are going to help you to transition from your junk food to uh, food uh, to nutrient-rich uh, unprocessed foods, okay. Uh, like we've been talking about and uh, also since we don't always eat right uh, coming up in the next uh, couple lessons I want to show you uh, how to eat as healthy as possible even when you're away from home okay so uh, be looking forward to it um, I hopefully soon I will uh, do some recipe videos to show you some good uh, healthy recipes to uh, help you get started with being interested in your health. God is interested in your health. He says, Beloved, I want you to prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. It says that we are supposed to offer our bodies, present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to God. Well, thanks for listening to the Bible Health 101 show today. The Lord bless you. And Shalom.